Hi, my name is Mal Guevara, and I'm currently a student at UNLV. I'm studying business actually, so poetry is kind of just a hobby for me. This is going to be the first spoken word video I've done, but it's not the first spoken word poem that I've done. This is actually inspired more of a, a satire of the idea that we sometimes call love at first sight. Now, a lot of people say, oh man, when I found my girlfriend, it was love at first sight, but I've never personally experienced that and maybe that's because I've only had one girlfriend ever who is now living a wonderful life without me. <laughs> so you never know what happens, right? Um, so this is what I believe they're feeling. And if you notice in the poem, this actually occurs in like less than 10 minutes. Or she, he sees this girl, he wants to profess all his love, but nothing happens, so she just walks away. Because instead of paying attention to what she's saying, he's just imagining in his head what life could be with her. And never says a word. So I hope you enjoy this poem. And if you do, and if I get some thumbs up, and maybe a couple of views, you know, like 50 million, I might do another one. 50 million... But I uh, hope you enjoy it, and this poem is called Love at First Sight. Why do I always fall for the ones who pay attention to me? The slightest touch of a hand becomes the indication of an undeniable love, but frankly, you probably just brushed me accidentally. I met you just a few minutes ago, but I'd appreciate my breath back already. You stole it. Carrying the air in my lungs with that light disarming smile, I just hope it wasn't too heavy, because the sigh that escapes my lips when you sway your hips is a beached whale, dying on the shore from disappointment. The slow, persistent advance and retreat of the tides reminding me of the reality that lies just outside the sands of your love. The tingle from my fingers, tracing the subtleties in your palms, still lingers as I read our future written on their silken skin, sending signals of senselessness into my head, because it read, You will be a very, very happy, my child, with a man named me, with four children, maybe three. But to be honest, I'd slow it down just for you, and we can do two. It's like a trip when you say hello to me, but you should know that I fall because of you. Right into the hole we often call love, and I poured in some sentiment from my heart and filled that gap so I could reach you. The space between us disappears while I whisper verses from Langston Hughes, like, Baby, were it not for your eyes, you are a night without stars. Or a dimly lit room because the janitor never changes the lights, but that was the scene that played over and over in a theater I call Imagination. Ushered by my desires, but interrupted by a lack of a pair of arms to hold my feelings together. So bitterly my eyes open and I taste the sweet utterances from your lips. Like a chorus of angels carrying me into reality, you say, Are you even listening to me? When I finally had the courage to turn away, your face starts painting images of my infatuation, revealing pictures of reality that even inner beauty would fall for. The contours of your lips fell and crested like valleys, the dimple in your cheek, it's like, like a valley, and your eyes they depressed, just like a valley. Please forgive me if I stumble, but you can make even my words humble, and you always leave too quick so I don't even try to catch you to take my breath back. Now instead I find myself inhaling your pursing lips, tasting the gentle dance of your fingers on my arms, listening to the light aroma of your hair, watching as your voice carries me away and leaves my body, wanting to taste your beauty. I resent that your presence leaves my senses like unwrapping presents in fragments. But just as quickly, you put me back together. Starting with the edges of my soul, you work your way towards my center, filling your understanding slowly, until a picture of my love for you appears. Why is it so effortless when you solve this jigsaw puzzle I call passion? But I promise you, if I seem easy, it's probably because I'm only 20 pieces. And each, you quickly arrange to form a frame that lets you see, I mean, really girl, you just get me. But you walked away, and I just didn't know what to say. And watched as my cowardice carried you that way. And I sat wishing I could wait until time would end and write down all the things I would say to make you stay. I even stopped my heart from beating to prove that I can't last a minute without you, but 
You're too far now. You left me. Standing here, grasping straws, hoping for the shortest one to allow the pain to pass through quickly because I've been trying to hold on to then, and my fingers just can't move the pen. You can make me doubt these words. My arms can't hold this burden. So please just tell me when I might get my breath back again. <laughs>